What's up guys, I'm Tash and this is Tash Tech. I have been waiting for this for quite a while. It is the uh, Prusa MK2, the i3 MK2. Oh man, you guys have no idea. It has been a while in development and it's finally here. I know a lot of the other guys have done videos about it, but I just got mine in now. And uh, we're gonna do a quick unboxing and then I'm gonna build it and then we're gonna do a review, okay? So, uh, you know what, you know what I'm, I'm, I've been waiting for the most here? Is the is the jelly the jelly babies? Oh, it sounds weird, right? I have been waiting for jelly babies. Yeah. Okay. So some packing here. Get rid of that. Congratulations on getting the original Prusa i3 MK2. That's cool. So my invoice is there, and then a welcome letter. Um. I'm just gonna see right. Oh, here's my here's my gummy bears. So power brick, and it's already wired in. That's that's cool, 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 guys. My gummy bears. Some more packing here. Here's the uh, receipt that has uh, the the testing receipt that tells you that everything's been tested okay. There's a temperature plot there as well. Oh, man, this is so cool. Okay. Um, let's get this out here. This is probably the frame. Yeah, this is the, the heated bed in the frame. So we've got the heated bed here. And the frame pieces. That's cool, eh? It's like metal. Yeah. I like how everything is packaged very nicely. Put that back there. We don't want to lose that. But we will lose that. Let me put this away. Okay, what else we have here? Oh, a roll of filament. This is... doesn't tell me the color because I know they had an issue with the color and then I said to him please send me a different one if I can remember and then I chose another nice color and it seems like they just sent me I'm not too sure purple it's right there purple but it looks black inside so I said to him send me the purple oh that's cool oh it's such a nice color purple as well I'll, I'll, I'll do a print and I'll show you guys what this is um, but this this uh, I like that it's vacuum packed as well because that means it's very moisture controlled. Alright. Okay. So let's put that down. Now, okay, so we've got some manuals, 3D printing handbook, the assembly instructions, which we'll be using. What other box here? Let's see what's in this box. Um, some cable ties, bearings in there, some more bearings. Everything is marked very nicely as well, so it must be quite easy to assemble. It's a power cord. This is the LCD screen, if I'm, not, if I'm, if I'm correct. There's a glue stick in here as well. There's an alcohol swab, and um, that looks like a syringe. Uh, uh, Acupuncture needle. I think it's to unclog the, the hot end. <laughs> and they give you a set of tools as well. Let me just get this out the way here. That's cool. That means I don't really need tools to assemble it. And it's like good quality tools. There's a spanner, two spanners. This is a, a nice screwdriver, high tech. And a on the, uh, needle nose pliers. That back up now this is what I wanted to get to here oh before we get it's a Rambo board I don't know if you guys know that how cool is this it's a Rambo so it's not even Arduino anymore 
That is so cool. Yeah. Atmel chip, still Rambo. Um, as you can see, it's got those automotive fuses on there. So that's that's a good decision because no more no more blowing of throwing away the entire board because the fuse blew. All right, and then it's got Molex connectors on there. Drivers are bolted in. It's just we, we, you know we've taken this to the next level, as in we found out what the flipping issues were, and now we've we're starting to to repair them instead of you know changing other stupid things like like cartridge fucking bays anyway so this is what i want this is this is the, this is the reason the main reason guys genuine e3 dv6 how cool is that what is this cat dude he's trying to climb up this tree got it genuine e3 dv6 is the other thing the uh the, 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 the sensor, the bed sensor. Okay, let's move on. Next box. Yeah, 3D printed parts, your corners, braces, your spool holder. LCD mounts, which in just your general 3D printer parts in there. Not a lot left now, we're coming to the end. Uh, stepper motors and the uh, lead screws right there. So pretty cool. Okay. Uh, I just want to check what type these are. These are Prusa Research Nima 17 1.8 degree stepper motors. <sighs> it's so nice to have genuine stuff, hey, isn't it? And then there's just the tube, which I'm assuming is the linear rods. Yeah, definitely linear rods. And some spiral bind from the looks of it. And it opens the other way. No. Yeah. Okay, some threaded rod, linear, linear rods, and some spiral bind. Okay, and that's that. So I'm gonna bolt this, and uh, probably time lapse it. Let me just see if there's nothing else in here. That's it. All right, I'm very excited to bolt this, guys. My very first 3D printer was a Prusa i3, and um, the the waves that they made with this one. I'm really excited to bolt it and see how it performs. And I'm really glad that we've done this. So thank you for watching guys. Hit the subscribe button and then I can get my videos to you. Check me out on Instagram and my Facebook page. And yeah, leave a comment below. Hit that like button. Thanks.